Uh, Shreya, can you see this glass on the table? Yes, yeah, mind. Good. Can you see this card right here? Yes, your your mic has just suddenly gone down. I don't know if you were holding because it was really good before. So, yeah, I can see it. Perfect. I've got I've drawn something on the back of this card. I'm going to place it into the glass so it's off the table, so it's a little bit clearer. Now, uh, Shreya, um, yes or no question? Do you own a pet? No. No. Okay. Have you ever owned a pet? No. No. Okay. Good. I now want I want you to think of an animal. Just an animal in your mind. Don't tell me what it is, but do you have an animal in mind? Yes, I do. It's a dog. Okay. Don't tell me what it is. So that is your the first animal. I want you to morph in your mind that animal to another unrelated animal to the first one. Because the chances are this first animal you thought of is an obvious one that the majority of people would think about. So I want you to morph it to another animal. Do you have another animal in mind? Yeah. Good. I now want you to morph it now into a third animal because the, probably the second animal is also an obvious animal that everyone thinks about. I want something that was deep rooted back into your subconscious. So I want you to think of a third animal that's unrelated to the first two. Do you have one in mind? Yes. That is the one I'm interested in, the third animal, because that was deep rooted back into your subconscious that you didn't even know you were going to think about a few moments ago. So for the first time, what is that third animal, the third one? You want me to tell that to you? Yeah, tell it, Rom. Okay. Uh, it was a hedgehog. A hedgehog. Good choice. A hedge, a hedgehog. Okay, a hedgehog, a spiky hedgehog. Now I want you to name this hedgehog. So if you had a pet hedgehog, a little spiky hedgehog, and there might be some obvious cartoon names that you could think of. Probably spiky would be an obvious one. Okay. I want you to name your own hedgehog. What would you call your own hedgehog if you were to name a hedgehog? I'd call him Trickly. Trippy. Tricky, tricky. 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 Prickly, P-R-I. Prickly. Prickly. Okay, sorry. That makes sense. Not tricky. That would be my, my hedgehog's name. Uh, prickly. Prickly. Prickly the hedgehog. Prickly the hedgehog. Okay. Out of interest, what was the second animal you thought of? I actually thought of a porcupine and then morphed it into a... Okay. You, okay, so you like your spiky animals. Um, and uh, what was your first animal? It was a pup. A dog. A dog. And that is the exact reason why I get you to change your mind a few times. Because if I ask 100 people, they all name a dog. And then, they, especially like in India, if I get them to change their mind, they normally say a cow or an elephant, normally. So I get them to change their minds a third time. And uh, and that's when you get the interesting things. That's when you get the porcupines and hedgehogs. And that's exactly what I want you to think. So that was deep rooted. You didn't know you were going to think of a hedgehog a few moments ago. Is that correct? correct? Yeah. So I'm going to show you what I've drawn on here. Now, if this looks more like a hedgehog, then it does, porcupine, hedgehog, similar. But if it looks more like a hedgehog, then it does a dog or an elephant or, a, you know, I would class this as a success. So let me just show you what I've drawn here. Now, the way this works is that the, uh, the spiral on your hand was causing an image. It was creating what's called an after image on your hand. Okay, and this was the image that it was forming on your hand. Let me just show you. That looks like a hedgehog, don't you think? Just in case there was any confusion, I wrote the word hedgehog. But, but what really freaks me out with this whole entire thing is I also called mine Prickly. Prickly the Hedgehog, ladies and gentlemen. Prickly the Hedgehog. What else would you call a hedgehog except for Prickly?